Why am I not allowed to do this? Welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm feeling very relaxed. And happy to be spending some time with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lilith. It's so very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy. Today's Monday, fun day, and I'm always groggy on this day. Sunday's my longest day of the week. I get up at 3 in the morning. I go to bed about 9. So I always wake up feeling a little bit groggy, but I feel great. I want to share today's look with you before it fades away. I want to show you all the products I used to create this masterpiece. This is a Valentine's Day inspired look. Okay, obviously. I have to show you what I used. I did incorporate some new products today. I need a drink of coffee first. Okay. Just want to give you a quick overview. I'm definitely getting that Marilyn Monroe vibe today. about to film a video for you but I have to show you how I brought this look together because when a look comes out just the way I want it to that's information you can use perfect coffee I'm going to start off with a primer that I used, okay. This is the cutest little primer ever. I bought it some time back, last year sometime off of Amazon. It is I Heart Revolution. Look at that, okay. It's Strawberry Whip. Okay, I do have a fascination with strawberries. That's nothing new. So when I saw this, I wanted to try it. Okay, I love the packaging, y'all. It's a tinted primer, okay? It does smell like strawberries. It's a very, very faint fragrance, but it smells like strawberries. I really love this product. Now, if you have oily skin, you may not be able to use this. I have very dry skin, especially in the winter time. So this is perfect for me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's tinted. I love it. It kind of feels like an oil when you first put it on. But I love the fact that it's tinted. Look. It's my perfect color. It smells like strawberries, but it dries down into kind of like a powder form. But it feels, initially feels oily, but it dries down to a powder. I love this part. Look at, look at how pretty that is. It has just the slightest sheen on it. I really like this part. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. It was so inexpensive. It might have been $4.99. Okay. So that's what it looks like. I have been trying out and experimenting with my brand new e.l.f. CC cream. This is a camo. Hydrating CC cream. It's full coverage, y'all. I literally just got it a couple of weeks ago. I ended up buying two of them because the first one made me look orange. It had like warm undertones. 
it's probably a perfect match for my sister Irma, so I sent it to her. So I got this shade. This is, um, it says light. Light 205N. Okay, full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish. It has hyaluronic acid. It has tremella mushrooms in it. Look. So this color, it's just the smallest, smallest amount too light. Okay. It's a shade too light. And that's not correct. It's not a shade too light. It's pretty much my color. But I just feel like it might be a tiny, tiny bit too light. And that might just be my imagination. Okay. See, there it is. To be honest with you, it's probably as close a match to me as it's ever going to be. All right. I'm very happy with this color. But I apply it in a certain way. This is $15. I haven't been able to find it at Target or anywhere else. I was able to get it online. I really like this product. It's fragrance free. It's affordable. Okay, it has hyaluronic acid. It's hydrating. All right. I've already used this about five times. And I'm very pleased with it. If you've been wanting to try it, I totally recommend it. All right, it works beautifully for my skin and I have mature skin I imagine all skin types can use it I'm not really sure but I have dry skin so this product is perfect for me okay because it says here it's hydrating and that's what I, that's what I need I put this on of course it's the primer I put this on and then I go over it with the famous Halo Glow product. This is a permanent part of my makeup regimen. It has been since I bought it. Okay. This is number four in the shade medium. I can't tell you that this is just slightly too dark for me, so it works out perfectly with this. Do you see the difference? This is darker, this is lighter. Put this on first. I put this on top, and it evens out the color for me perfectly. Okay, I'm very happy. You can use this product in so many different ways, y'all. It's so versatile. If you have not bought the Elf Halo Glow, it's for all skin types. All right, It is hydrating. But anybody can use it. You can get it at Target. You can get it anywhere now. Okay, Walmart probably has it. You can definitely get it online. It's $14. You can use this on light makeup days on its own. But I put this on first, this on top, and as you can tell, it's a perfect match for me. Okay. It looks stunning. I'm very, very pleased with it. And I'm glad I figured it out. Because usually I'll put this on and this on top. But in this example, I put this and then this. Okay, y'all. This is the concealer that I'm wearing. I have dark circles. I have sunken in eyes. All right. It's genetics and it's age-related. So concealer is very important. This is a product by Milani. I'm really, really loving this concealer. I only have one, one complaint about it. But first we're going to touch on the wonderful aspects of it. It's super affordable. Okay. And this says conceal and perfect. And this is in the shade 02 Melon. 
remember your concealer has to be just a little bit darker than your foundation because if not if you use a light concealer I follow a lot of beauty youtubers y'all I know what I'm talking about if you get a light concealer you're gonna bring brightness and shininess and attraction to this area which you want to deflect it you don't want to attract it all right so this has to be a tiny bit darker than your foundation so this color melon is perfect for me it gives me really good coverage you guys I am not expecting miracles I just want some coverage I just want to manage those dark circles okay I want to minimize the lines and this product works very well for me the only complaint I have is that it's a little bit messy because it has the sponge tip so you have to press the product out and usually you're gonna press out too much so it's wasteful and it's messy but I love this product so much I'm gonna keep buying it and I'm gonna try different methods so that I don't what it looks like this might cost eight dollars you guys I usually always in every example set my face with loose setting powder not today some months ago at TJ Maxx it's a product by Pacifica and their cosmetics are really nice they can be a tiny bit pricey sometimes but since I found it at TJ Maxx I got it for $4.99 and this is a neutralizing mineral mattifier soft focus translucent powder with cherry and coconut It says matte finish, universal translucent powder to set your look. Helps control oil and melting makeup. Infused with cherry extract and coconut. I don't find this to be drying because I do not use mattifying products, y'all. But this pressed powder, I find it to be perfect. I'm going to try and get it out of the box. So this is what it looks like, you guys. I think the packaging is what drew me to it. Isn't that beautiful? It's this mauve color with little flowers all over it. But I really, really like the way it sets my face. It doesn't dry me out at all, as you can see. Because I use a lot of um, very, very uh, hydrating products on my face, glowy products. So I can set it with this and everything's fine. You see, it's not a wasteful product because it's pressed. It's my exact shade and honestly I'm going to start using this more often do you see that it's translucent it's light and it sets my face perfectly as you can see and I use if I can find I use a puffy pad this is the one that I've been using. I got this from Revolution Beauty. I can't imagine doing my routine without this product. Okay. You see? Pat, 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 pat. And I set my face. So this is a wonderful product. I've only used it a few times, but I'm really enjoying it.
So the bronzer I'm using, which is always going to be the same, y'all. And this company, it's LYS Beauty. I wish I could try more of their products. I have their concealer, and I have this because I used to be subscribed to BoxyCharm. Okay. BoxyCharm is now um, Ipsy. Ipsy bought BoxyCharm. I received this in a boxy charm and it's my favorite bronzer it's it's in the shade no limit it always gives me the most beautiful bronzy um, look always okay it's the formula it's not drying at all it's always very very pretty you guys To show you I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it I blend it in and it just gives me a very subtle beautiful bronzy look okay and one of these days I'm gonna get some more LYS products I like their makeup Okay, let me show you what I'm wearing. The blush. It came out so pretty, you guys. So this is a cream blush. It's called Jelly Dough. This is called Jelly Dough. It's a blusher. bought this around my birthday last year. I'll be 57 in April. From uh, Yes Style. This is Corian Cosmetics. You guys, everything I bought from them is fascinating. It's wonderful. It's affordable. They actually sent me last year a uh, skincare PR box. I wish they would send me some makeup. I would be thrilled. I'm going to save up some money because I would love to place another product for some cosmetics with them. I am an influencer with them. So if anybody buys from them, I'm going to look for that link. I'll make a tiny bit of money. Or maybe I make points. I don't remember. But needless to say, this is called Jelly Doll. I love going to say brush. I love this blush. Look, it has a tiny mirror. It even comes with a little pad. You see? It's a little sponge pad. And it has this little door which divides the pad from the blush. Okay. Because I do use this to apply it. It makes it very easy. I like to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Look at how pretty. It's the prettiest, like, um, kind of like a fuchsia pink color, y'all. Okay, it's beautiful. I love this color. And it's creamy, but it looks like it's a gel consistency almost. I'm going to swatch it for you. It's extremely pigmented. You can't tell with this swatch. I tap it about three times and I just put it on like that. You guys, I love this blush. I just really love this blush. It always gives me the prettiest pink look. And honestly, I would love to get this like in a mauve color. I'm going to see. Okay, so the 
highlighter I'm wearing. This is Hard Candy. I bought this last year at TJ Maxx. I love Hard Candy. It's so affordable, but look, look at how beautiful this was made for me. Okay. This gives me a very subtle um, highlight look. It's not blinding in any way. But look, it's perfect. Do you see? And this actually has mauve pink and like a pearl with swirls of pink in it. I love the clear packaging. And it almost looks like those products that are baked. And I think I paid You're not going to believe how much I paid for this. $3.99. It was $3.99. Look at this. Gorgeous and beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous and beautiful. I am wearing this beautiful red lipstick. Okay, I got this in a boxy charm two years ago. It's by Hank and Henry. It always gives me the most beautiful lip color, y'all. Not to mention how beautiful the packaging is. Look at that. I'm going to try and get it out of here because you have to push it on the bottom and it comes out on the top. Look at that. It's covered in glitter, but it has like a primer in it. Not kidding. Not kidding. It's stunning. It's stunning beautiful. It's stunning beautiful. And let me show you. This beautiful eyeshadow palette, y'all. This was a gift from my dear friend Crystal. Crystal's Beauty Deal Shop. It's a Morphe palette. Look at the packaging. You guys. I haven't even used this palette very many times. I created the most gorgeous holiday. Look at the packaging on this. Let me show it to you. bottom lid, top lid, and then I did a pop of that burgundy on the end. I'm just beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. That's all I have for you right now, you guys. I'll catch up with you later.